Hi, my name is Lloyd Smith from the Sports Science Laboratory at Washington State University. Today we're going to be talking about nonlinear bats, but before we do that, we want to talk about bat performance first. We'll pretend this ball is a softball, that this table is a wood bat, and this small drum is a softball bat. If I drop this ball on the table, most of the energy is lost and the ball doesn't bounce very high. If I drop this ball on this small drum, the ball the ball bounces and retains most, much of its energy. We think of bats as being hard, but they're actually soft to some degree, like this trampoline. One way to illustrate that is through these three different springs. This spring is the largest and stiffest, and to compress this spring takes a large force. This might be, say, like a wood bat. This intermediate spring is softer, and that can displace the smaller force. This system of two springs represents a nonlinear bat. Here, as I press the ball down, at first there's a very soft spring. When you press down, it gets stiffer. That's just the way a nonlinear bat works when a ball impacts it. Because bat performance depends on its stiffness, we measure barrel compression in the field. Very often this is done with a portable barrel compression fixture like this. We'll take a bat on the fixture and compress it and use the force as a measure of how stiff the barrel is. Some people will use the stiffness from the barrel compression fixture as a measure of bat performance. That doesn't work very well for a nonlinear bat because a nonlinear bat has two stiffnesses and this fixture only measures one of those. This is a cutaway of one example of a nonlinear bat. If you look at the outside shell, it looks just like a standard hollow bat does. On the inside, there's a ring, and there's a gap between this ring and the bat. So as the ball contacts the bat, the bat will deform and have a low stiffness. Then as the bat continues to deform, it will contact this ring, and there'll be an increase in stiffness, just like the example I showed of those two springs. If we measure the force of the bat as we compress it, we can get a plot of barrel stiffness. This plot shows the force of compressing the bat as a function of depth of displacement. This green line shows how a traditional hollow bat would respond, and you get almost a linear curve. This blue line is a nonlinear bat, and it shows how the bat has a lower stiffness until the inside barrel is contacted and then the stiffness increases. So if you're impacting the ball with a low force, you'll be impacting a nonlinear bat with a lower stiffness. But if you're impacting the bat with a higher force, you'll have a higher stiffness. An interesting feature of nonlinear bats is the advantage of a nonlinear bat depends how fast you swing the bat. This plot shows how much further a player might hit the ball if he's swinging with the nonlinear bat. If a person swings a nonlinear bat with, say, a 50 mile an hour swing speed, he could expect, on average, for this bat in the comparison, hitting the ball about 13 feet further than with the traditional linear bat. Where, if your swing speed is 85 miles an hour, there would be no advantage of having a nonlinear bat. And if your swing speed was higher than that, there would actually be a disadvantage of swinging with a nonlinear bat. Some people think if they buy a nonlinear bat, they'll become the strongest player on the team. That's probably not true. Consider a few examples. If you swing the bat at 50 miles an hour, you'll hit the ball around 200 feet. A nonlinear bat will give you about 10 feet extra on your distance. If you swing the bat at 85 miles an hour, you'll be hitting the ball 350 feet, almost 100 feet further than the player who's swinging at 50 miles an hour with a nonlinear bat. In summary, nonlinear bats are like standard hollow bats, except they have two stiffnesses, not one. Nonlinear bats tend to help players with slow swing speed more than players with high swing speed. And because nonlinear bats have two stiffnesses, the barrel compression that you would measure in a barrel compression fixture doesn't correlate well with performance of nonlinear bats.